a year ago, there was no guarantee this would ever happen. Max Alquist walking out to greet us for this interview. It doesn't look awesome when I walk, but the level of um, comfort I have, I guess, with walking for short distance is like really awesome. To understand why it's so awesome, let's go back a step to last summer. Max was a student athlete who grew up playing soccer and tennis. Heading into his senior year, he went on his high school summer rafting trip in Colorado and tried using his raft to slide into the river from the shore. I um, was launched into the bottom of a shallow river. When I hit the bottom, I wasn't really sure what happened. I kind of, everything was buzzing. It felt like in my body and I was like, what's going on here? Lower down a little bit. Yeah. Max was initially paralyzed from the neck down. This was Max early last summer at a Colorado hospital. Had extraordinary circumstances. His dad, Brent, says he pushed his son to recover. Max has done everything we could ask him to do. He really took his recovery seriously and personally. He educated himself, learned the terminology. The doctors were impressed with how much he knew. With a lot of determination and pain, Max learned to walk. No. Oh, my God. You got it. And reclaimed the use of his arms and hands. Max and his dad were in this Colorado hospital for four months, but they were never alone. Hey, Max, I've got some people who want to share something with you. Max is the Alquist family's youngest child, and dad coached soccer for 16 years. They kind of know everyone. And when they needed it, the entire Loomis community stepped in with support. We had five kids and we're competitive here in Loomis and we're competing with everybody in whether it's school or sports. But when something like this happens, all that just is meaningless and everyone gets uh, behind you. It was your prayers and well wishes which brought about a miracle and reminded me that so many people believed in me. Max just graduated from Del Oro High School as the co-valedictorian. While a willingness... That speech was part of a virtual ceremony. When I'm not wearing, and it appears this now, is just I'm the beginning of his impressive accomplishments. He's so now heading uh, to Stanford uh, University. It, it really gives me kind of an under, underdog fight in me where, you know, I realize there's nothing to lose. You know, I've been really lucky because I've gotten in and it's just such a blessing. And so I know that, you know, all, all, all there is is up from here because all I can do is work my hardest, do my best and try to kick some butt, I guess.